Hey guys, it's Miss Smith, and today I'm going to be showing you marking the text digitally. Uh, this video is going to apply to majority of the assignments where it requires marking the text. However, some assignments will have marking and charting the text. There will be a separate video on that. So for this video, all intents and purposes is just marking the text, and it will require four things. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alrighty, so let's say that this is our assignment that we're going to be working on. And so, again, four things. We're going to number the paragraphs. We're going to highlight key terms. We're going to highlight or underline important information. So this could include definitions, evidence, and of the like. And then we're also going to chunk main ideas in the margins, at least three chunks. Sometimes the assignments will require you to do one for every paragraph or chunk, or it will require main ideas for um, like a set number. Again, it just depends on the assignment. So think of the chunking the main ideas. Think of these as you're just giving me a summary sentence. Okay, so just think of it as that. All right, now for marking the text, please understand, please, please, please understand, even though it doesn't say it here, right? You are under the assumption that you are supposed to read this before you mark it. And why is that? Because when you're reading and marking at the same time, your brain is just focusing on the word, <laughs> the words. And when I say that, I mean just finding words. You're not really focusing on what the heck it is you're reading. So it's really important to read first so you understand what it is that you're reading and then go back and mark the text to figure out, okay, what was important? Just highlighting what was important, okay? If in actuality, you're supposed to be, for any assignment given to you, you're supposed to read it at least three times. One for reading it just by itself, the second time to go back and get key terms, the second to go, or excuse me, the second time to go get key terms and underline stuff, and then thirdly to help you answer questions or do uh, claim evidence reasoning, okay? So in actuality, you're supposed to read assignments three times, but I digress. So let's go ahead and just get into just practicing marking the text. Okay, so first thing we're going to go do, go ahead and do is number the paragraphs. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go for each paragraph or chunk. You're going to go make sure the blinking line is right in front of that paragraph. What you want to do is you're going to go up here to font size, and you're going to change the font size to 18. You're also going to go ahead and click B for bold. And then you're going to go ahead and type in which number it is. So this is paragraph one. And boom. And why is it that we make this nice and big and bold? It's so that way you can see it and also the teacher can see it when they're grading. So again, same thing for this paragraph. Make sure the blinking line is in front of that paragraph. I'm going to change the font size to 18. I'm going to go ahead and click B for bold. And this is paragraph two. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it for the rest of the paragraphs. Okay, and I have no more. Fantastic. Okay, so numbering the paragraphs is completed. The next thing you want to do is highlight key terms and underline important information. All right, so how do I highlight key terms? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mouse, you're gonna go ahead and highlight the word, then you're gonna go up here and click on this tool. This is the highlighting color and that's how you're going to get the highlighters. So I'm gonna click it open and I'm gonna highlight key terms in green, okay? For underlining important information, same thing, you're gonna highlight it this and highlight whatever it is the information. Then you're going to go up here and click this underline tool. It's the U with the line underneath it, U for underline. So you're going to just go ahead and click that, and boom, you have underlined that sentence or phrase. 
We're going to do two and three together. We'll do number four last. For summary sentences or chunking main ideas, we'll do that last. Two and three you can do together after you go back and read it for read the information for a second time. Am I going to read this entire thing? Absolutely not. I'm just going to demonstrate for paragraph one. So here we go. Okay. Before I get into highlighting and underlining, what helps you are, to, are a couple of things. One, if you see science words, those are definitely key terms you want to highlight. If you see um, information such as a definition, evidence, uh, an example, um, those are things you want to underline. And what you want to make sure you avoid is underlining an entire sentence or highlighting an entire... No, 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 no. You're highlighting words, just one or two words, depending on the vocabulary word, and you're underlining important information. The entire paragraph is not an important thing to underline. So words like the, uh, uh, of, right? You don't need to underline it. And it'll make sense when I go through it. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, so it's not uncommon for siblings to bear no resemblance to one another. So I know that this is about twins. So siblings is an important key term. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in green and bear no resemblance to one another, meaning that they don't look alike. So that seems important. So I'm going to underline that. At first, but at first glance, you may struggle to believe that these two beautiful girls who appear to be polar opposites of one another, that seems important, are not only sisters, so siblings again, but are in fact twins. That is important. Our highlighted word. And I'm also going to underline that in fact. Twins. We want to underline facts. Isn't genetics fascinating? Well, genetics is definitely a science word, so I'm definitely highlighting that. Okay. I have highlighted my key terms, and I've underlined important information. So siblings bear no resemblance, appear to be polar opposites, but are in fact twins. So this seems to be important, understanding that sometimes twins are not always the same. And boom, I've just figured out my summary sentence just by looking at just by looking at what I've highlighted and what I've underlined, that helps me figure out my summary sentence or my main idea that I want to that my chunking the main idea. So for number four, what you want to do is right? Remember, anytime you are doing any assignment, the answer, the what you type, what are what is your own words, what you are answering, you, your work needs to be in the color blue. So what you want to do is you want to go up to this here where it says text color. It's represented as the letter A. So you're going to click it and you're going to click blue. And then boom, you can go ahead and start typing. And so I'm just going to summarize what the, what I got from this paragraph. So it seems to me that sometimes twins are not always identical or the same, period. And that's what I got from that. That is literally what I got from that paragraph. So not only does your chunking summary sentences need to be in the color blue, I also want you to highlight that in yellow so we can easily find that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead, My it's already in blue. I'm gonna highlight my summary sentence yellow. And that's it. You should be able to go ahead and mark the text for the rest of the assignment. Again, depending on what assignment you are doing this for. Okay, marking the text applies to a lot of the assignments you're going to do for this course. So please understand that if you can't get this right, <laughs> please make sure you do. All right. This is just, this is just an expectation. It's a routine and it's expectation. It is a requirement for you to do for some of the assignments, okay? All right. I hope this video has been helpful to you 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.